pictograph and bar graphs. Hello friends. We have already learned about data representation. Today, let us learn to prepare a pictograph and bar graphs. Collecting, sorting information and representing data in visual form is called pictorial representation. The data is represented in pictorial form using pictographs, that is, pictograms, horizontal bar graphs, and vertical bar graphs. Let us solve an example to learn to present data using different methods. There are many types of trees in this huge orchard. They are represented using tally marks. On adding the tally marks information, we get the total number of trees as shown in the table below. With the help of this data, we can represent the above information with 1. A pictograph 2. A vertical bar graph and 3. A horizontal bar graph Let's begin with the pictograph. We know that a pictograph gives information with pictures or symbols. Now. Let us represent the data. Step 1. Write the title. Here, the title Trees in Orchard tells us the pictograph is about the trees in an orchard. Step 2. Write the labels. The labels give us the information about the different trees in the orchard. Step 3. Write the scale or key. It tells us what each tree picture is equal to. As here, all the number of trees are in multiples of 5, we take the scale as 5. Lastly, step 4. Draw the pictures as they tell us the given number of trees. So. Draw 6 trees for coconut trees, 7 for orange trees, 5 for banana trees, 4 for mango trees and lastly 3 for apple trees. Hey look! We have completed representing the data in the form of a pictograph. Now. Let us represent the same data in the form of a vertical bar graph. Step 1. Write a title explaining what is being represented. Step 2. Draw the horizontal and the vertical axis. Step 3. Mark the scales on the vertical axis which represents the numerical data. Step 4. Mark the labels on the horizontal axis. The labels represent the objects, etc. Step 5. Draw columns of same width according to the data. Look! We have drawn a vertical bar graph. Lastly, we shall represent the data in the form of a horizontal bar graph. Step 1. Write a title explaining what is being represented. Step 2. Draw the horizontal and the vertical axis. Step 3. Mark the labels on the vertical axis. The labels represent the objects, etc. Step 4. Mark 
the numerical data on the horizontal axis. Step 5. Draw the bars of same width according to the data. Look, we have drawn a horizontal bar graph. Wasn't it fun preparing pictograph and bar graphs?